Hello, everybody. This is Young Bar cooking fried bologna. I never did a, I never cooked fried bologna on my live stream before, as y'all can see. Fried bologna. A lot of y'all probably don't like bologna. Bologna. But I don't like eating bologna cold. Yeah. So it's frying right now. And I put it on so, so it won't burn. So how's everybody doing today? Hope. Hey, what up, St little sister? Stacy, how you doing? Okay, Stacy. Yeah, whenever you see it get like bubbly, then you know to flip it over and stuff. Cause you don't want to, you know, burnt bologna or nothing like that ever. That would taste taste really bad. Let's see, let y'all. I love bologna, but some people, you know, some people don't like bologna, but uh, I'm going to tell y'all a story. My family grew up, you know, off of bologna, fried chicken, hot dogs, stuff like that, so... I'm pretty much used to it, and especially it's cheap to buy at the store as well, too. So, I think anything that's simple to cook is cheaper to buy at the store, but, it, but anything that's complicated to cook it is a little bit expensive, depending on uh, where you go buy it at, you know. Yep, I gotta flip it over, y'all. So, here in a minute, trying to look for me a set, uh, a selfie stick. So, okay, that's cool, heart. You know, at least you came in and said something. That's uh, fine. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you. I appreciate you for saying that. Now it's time to flip it over. Let's see. And me saw. Oh, well. It's not really. Not really. Still, still cooking. Hello, thanks for giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all. And probably the reason why I'm still cooking because I'm cooking it on on low. Because if I cook it on high, then it's gonna cook really fast, so, and I don't want to get to, the, get to cook that fast, so that's why I like uh, cooking it on uh, low. go to the store just now and give me some Dr. Pepper. Y'all know I'm a Dr. Pepper hog. I love Dr. Pepper. Uh, let's see. Uh, I 
I'm gonna have to use my my Arby's cup because I don't like using the other cups. The other cups, uh, I don't want it to spill or nothing like that, so I'm gonna use my Arby's cup. Let me see. See, you check on it. I just hope move this a little closer so so y'all can see that better. No, I shouldn't uh, grab. I shouldn't uh, put the ice on the countertop. My father used to always tell me that when I was little, but uh, my countertop is clean, and, and I make sure I clean it with that bacteria stuff. So. See. Thanks for the second thumbs up. I appreciate y'all. Hey, what's up, Classic? How you doing, Classic? Are you doing okay? You having a good day so far? I'm about to give me another ice tray because this ice tray, see, y'all can see that this ice tray is broken. This is my old, old ice tray. It's my old roommates. Uh, they lived here uh, three months ago. Uh, gave uh, at uh, gave me was broken. And still, yeah, I have to be careful with I with me filling it up because if I fill it up high, then it's gonna. Fillers work. See. Getting there, y'all. It's getting there. Yeah, I know. I like a lot of Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper drinks low. I think I got I got had the cell phone kind of crooked and stuff. Hello, 
fifth person in a fried bologna. Fried bologna. And I'm frying it on low, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time to cook, slowly cooking. Some of y'all uh, know what would be, be good with bologna, y'all, fried bologna, uh, mustard, and uh, barbecue sauce. You know, it's always good to put something right on your on your bologna sandwich, your fried bologna sandwich. So I looked up fried bologna. And I saw a bunch of videos, people cooking fried bologna, even, even celebrities cooking fried bologna. So I decided to do a video because I never did a fried bologna live stream you know, video. So it's always good to try something else. Seven hours of Halloween. <laughs> Decorations. Wow. Wow. That's a that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. And Got some bread. Mustard, as y'all can see right here. Mustard. Gotta make sure you shake it up. Because sometimes water comes out of it. Sometimes it, it uh, looks runny and watery. I don't want to put too much on it, though. Anything else on the Yeah, he has his own nails. Old nails. See, yeah, y'all, y'all see me. Yeah. Uh, we'll try some lettuce and bacon. Have like a bacon, uh, fried bologna. Sandwich. Sounds good, huh, y'all? Yeah. I should have bought some of that spread that uh, Target normally has, you know? What time did you last see the other? You could eat a horse right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, See, this is how the baloney 
turned out like, y'all. Y'all see that right there? Oh man, one of them. One of them got a hole in it, but that's okay. Huh? Hmm. I wish I had uh, some some chips to eat it with, but I don't. I'm going to have to put this uh, back in here. And I had, I had these right here, y'all. But but I don't like the thick ones or anything like that. As y'all can see, I don't like thick ones. I like the thin bologna. Some reasons. And I'll be using this kind of cheese, the shredded cheese, as y'all can see right there. Hello, Niche. How you doing, Niche? What's cracking? I saw that you was live, Niche. But uh, I was in there for a little bit, and you you fired. Self, move my cell phone in another room. Actually, the living room. So. Today I bought three of these, y'all. Like three dollars. Cherry Bill K's right here. Wait, where's the rice? As y'all can see. Figure it out. Thanks for that. Ooh, I gotta turn the air conditioning on. So if y'all hear some fan blowing, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's hot in here. It is hot, hot, hot. Woo! Man! 
see. Hold on, let me uh move this moving in the middle. Fry baloney. Mmm, it tastes pretty good with the uh, shredded cheese. For when you guys and girl, gals get off from her. Okay, uh, classic computers. Okay, uh, uh, Stacy, that's good. Mm. How are you doing? Uh, Tell a live stream, Halloween uh, mu music, and video too. Oh, okay, that's good. Rum cheese? Well, I, I got some slices of cheese, but I don't like that uh, because I bought it from the dollar store. And last time I tasted it right in my hamburger, uh, it was nasty. I put it on my hamburger, and that cheese was, was not good. I should have bought me some uh, craft cheese. The craft uh, sliced cheese is the best cheese. I kind of like niche. I kind of like the. The name brand cheese. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. And uh, how you doing? Uh, how's Doug? How's the hubby? So y'all just y'all uh, just chilling right now. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, we do have them. Praise God. And I haven't, oh, they, oh, they do? Well, I only shop at um, Trader Joe's only one time, and it was about four years ago. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. I um pretty much love it when it's fried, uh Stacy. There's sparkling spice there too. Oh man! Season pumpkin, pumpkin season. I mean, everything pumpkin. Oh, I should try it. Pumpkin ice cream. Ooh. 
I love pumpkin ice cream, classic computer. Oh, uh, oh, okay. That's um, I probably should have did that, stay. Oh yeah. Um, some stores that yeah, we have classic computers. Uh, Stacy don't have. Okay, Stacy, I will do that next time. Um, I noticed when Stacy was blogging at the over there by the convenience store, uh, that store says Sam's Food. And we have a store here that says Sam's Food too, Stacy. You know, but if, and yeah, but it's uh, but it's pretty much just only one store like that, and they sell a lot of tickets too. Sorry about that. I reconnected for a second. Uh, yeah, there's no Trader Joe's. There's no Trader Joe's uh, in Canada. I know. I know they got Trader Joe's in Oklahoma City, uh, California. And I think they got one in uh, Texas too. I don't know. I'm not really for sure. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that they got a store in Canada that's kind of similar to what you are talking about, but it's not called, you know, Trader Joe's or nothing. It's called something else, probably. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um. I'm surprised y'all don't have a bronze right in Canada. Stacy. Because uh, if y'all had a Brahms, Brahms, B R A U M S, it's kind of like. Uh, uh, Dairy Queen, except they're famous for their ice cream and uh, burgers and stuff. The the place that I ate uh, at um, uh, Thursday, Brahms. Oh yeah, it uh, it would be uh, classic uh, computers. It would be because it's it's very popular popular retail. Yeah, and. Uh, Oh, that's good, uh, classic computers. They have a lot of them. 
maple product. Oh, but it's more expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, um, oh, yeah. Um, I doubt it if y'all have a dirt clean station. Uh, and a dirt clean is famous for ice cream too. You know. Uh, I'm gonna look up something. Yep. Mm. On the front part? Oh, very cool. What? If you ever, if I ever come to London, Canada, if you ever want to take me for ice cream anywhere, Dirt Queen would be the place. That's it, Dirt Queen is nearby. If you have if you have one by you, but I, I don't know if you do or not, Stacy. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, it says the Dirt Queen near London, Canada is uh the Oh, you two big malls have, uh, oh, that's good. There's one on uh, High Burry Avenue, North London. I looked it up. I don't know what where Highbury Avenue is. <laughs> I'm not from Canada. <laughs> oh, for real, it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, five minutes. Driving this, oh. Yeah. Wilson, Wil Wilden Road, 993 Wilden Road, London, Canada. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but uh, Will, We're done. Road. Yeah, they got one. Uh, they got. They got a lot. Wow. I'm. I'm very. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Um. Damn. Wow. And it says right here, they close. Oh. Oh. White Oaks Mall. Mall in London, Canada. White Oaks Mall in London, Canada. Oh, that's fifteen. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people, Stacy. Man. Calls for Thanksgiving. Bigger. But I'd be glad when uh uh I win the jackpot and come down there. So I would like for you to give me a tour. Cause I ain't never been in another country. I've been everywhere else but to uh to another country. Okay. Oh, you took four Tylenols? Oh, it's close to Mexico. Hey. Beautiful movie theater. Wow. Now, oh wow, Stacy. Oh, Brahms. I guess Brahms is only in in Oklahoma. I guess.
Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, you know, uh, whenever I come and I know when I have to leave, then I'll, pro I'll probably be really sad, which I will be sad that I have to leave. But currently, I'm not Canadian, so, <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, what's the name of the airport? Oh, you don't know if your mom will let you stay? Yeah. Well, I would give me a hotel there, you know, nearby somewhere. But I would probably have to make sure uh, I have somebody to go with me to the hotel because uh, I'd probably get lost. Yeah, I probably would get lost uh, if I went to if I went to the hotel from the airport to the hotel. Uh, but I know, you know, they probably, the Uber or Lyft will probably, oh, you doubt that? Oh, wow. May cost a lot, yeah. Well, if I ever win a lot of money, you know, uh, I would definitely probably uh, get an airport, uh, get like a, a plane ticket, but uh, I would probably have to get uh, a plane ticket to uh, maybe somewhere like nearby London or something like that. I don't know, uh, but I figured out a bit. So. Yeah. There we are. Okay, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. I will make sure I have enough. Oh. I never I never had to go through that a passport, but I would uh I would let you help me with that, you know, because <laughs> how you know I don't know about a passport. Uh I don't know how that works and stuff, but I don't uh, I don't think it would be any problem because I don't have, you know, I have a clean record. And plus, I won't be carrying nothing that would that would trigger the. Uh, yeah, yeah, my mentor might know. Yep, yeah. nothing that would uh, trigger the checkpoint because when I do come, whenever I do come, I will make sure to bring as much stuff as possible 
as much clothes as possible. Uh, and okay, yeah. Yeah, my my mentor might know a little bit more about that stuff. What's up, Jesse? JR is in the house. What up, man? I, I seen that you called me. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I think I would ask her. I think I'm gonna ask her. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but I'm gonna ask her, and um, and uh, I know whenever I do be able to. Uh, Oh, my phone went to voicemail. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I I would uh, call you right after we get off the stream. Uh, I know for sure I would have to come. If the weather is really good, you know, like, and I don't know, like, um, if I come in the summer, maybe like in like uh, in a maybe in like three years or something, a couple of years, save save on uh, save on save money, uh, save enough money to. Uh, to pretty much uh, for the plane, for the hotel, uh, and people probably, whenever they probably talk to me, people probably say, uh, you're not from here. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm from America. <laughs> yeah. And people probably Oh, my money's worth more here. Yeah, I would say if I say because I have a plan because once I start working, get everything all straightened out with my custody, you know, joint custody and all that other stuff. Oh, I don't know. Uh, But figure something out though. Then I would say that if I say, which this is gonna take a couple of years, probably like two or three years, I would say that if I open up the savings account when I get all that other stuff, uh, stuff situated uh i would say i would say oh for real yeah yeah actually sure be okay you know jesse uh, it's a dollar each about three of those uh if i save like 10 grand I think 10 grand would be enough for uh, two weeks in uh, Canada. But I could be wrong though. But I think 10 grand, but it would take me about two years. And what I do is I, whenever I get everything situated, uh oh for real i don't need that much okay okay uh whenever i get everything situated with all that other stuff then i'll better up the savings account hey what up d uh l what up dl 
in the house, in the building. Thanks for coming in. Uh, uh, I never seen you in here. So are you new or or what? Oh, five grand should should be enough. Okay, yeah. And I can open a savings account, and every month I get paid, I can uh, draw interest and stuff, and let it build up. And so that way I can have enough, you know, to go there and I can have enough to go back, you know, and have enough for food, enough for the hotel. Because two weeks is a long time. And I don't want to go down there just for like, uh, I don't want to just go down there just for like a week, you know, I think a week is just, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we do whenever all, whenever I'm able to save and get a, get enough to go down there, uh, uh, we will look into the near to the near future, and uh, you know, and stuff. So, so that way, I might not even have to get a hotel. And I know, I know. Yeah, I'm excited too. And and I know a hotel would be expensive. But even if I can stay with somebody, I would still, you know, gas. Okay, I would give you one DL, DL. I would give you one. And I will also give you one on my other channels, too. I got multiple other channels. So I will give you a, uh, a sub uh, in a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Even if I'm staying with somebody uh, down there, I would at least make sure. Oh, you've been saying that, Jesse? Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, it's been raining like crazy here. Uh, I would make sure that uh, I clean up after myself. Uh, I would help with gas and food and stuff like that. So you so you wouldn't have to worry about that whenever that time comes, you know. Man, yeah, it's been crazy weather that mean that man you've been having, Jesse. It's been crazy weather. Yeah. Because I would like to meet uh, Maple's son, and I would like to meet, uh, you know, Maple, you know, for the first time, too, as well, you know. So we'll figure something out in a few few years or so. Uh, I made my first couple of songs ever as well. Okay, I would check your songs out because I love music. I, I even promote music, so even I promote music on my channel too, so yeah. And plus I would give you a shout out too after I check out your uh, music and stuff. So what kind of music do you uh, do you do? Do you perform? Because I I mostly promoted like hip hop and rap 
and a few R and B, uh, one country singer, couple of pops in the past, but uh, yeah, yeah, everything will be figured out right after I'm able to to go. Mm. Yes, I'm very surprised that this stream is not uh, cutting out. You know, I guess some times of the day it probably don't cut out as much as other times do. Because I know one night I was on the live stream and it was just like reconnecting, reconnecting, reconnecting. And I hate that when my streams do that, you know. I think it depending on the internet, you know, if you if I had a high speed internet, you know, home internet, it wouldn't be doing that. There's been a couple of tornadoes warning saying that uh Oklahoma buddy. No joke, buddy. Uh yeah. And Jesse, he lives in a tornado zone. You know, so we you know, we don't live too far from each other, but his city gets hit a lot. You know, his city gets hit a lot. So, I used to live in his city in high school. And so I moved just because of the tornadoes there. But I know tornadoes can, you know, happen anywhere at any given time, but yeah. But mostly in the middle of Oklahoma City, I don't really, really hardly even see tornadoes. I only see like basically like uh, flooding, uh, thunderstorms and stuff like that. Maybe, uh, you know, snow, you know, snowstorms, ice, you know, ice storms and stuff. But other than tornadoes, we don't really from from where I'm at, you know, I never really uh, experienced one tornado. But when I stayed in Moore, my house, my apartment, I lived upstairs, and my apartment uh, got blown out. I was, uh, I guess, I was studying for my senior finals, and um, yeah. Oh, uh, for weather classes, yeah. I was studying, studying for my senior finals in 2003, and I heard a big old boom, and I went outside, and I heard this thing, this thing spinning around, so I hurried up and ducked and got behind the couch because the couch was all the way over here, and the window was like, the front window was right there, and then the TV was on the side, and then I just heard them duck, and it bust out all my windows. And I think my apartment was on the was on the more more newspapers or something. I think I kind of don't remember. It's it's been a while. It's been like I would say fifteen years, seventeen years. Mm -hmm. And then before I moved to Moore, I remember the May 3rd tornado in 1999, I believe. Correct me, uh, Jesse, if I'm wrong, but uh, what was the first big uh, tornado? Uh, was it uh, in Moore, Jesse? Was it like in 1999, May 3rd tornado? May 3rd tornado or? It's been a while, yeah. But uh yeah. Yeah, uh so uh Stacy, what kind of weather do y'all have there? Like 
I know it rains there. I know it, you know, it gets really hot during the summertime and it gets cold. But like, do y'all have like hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, or 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 uh, floods and stuff like that? I'm just curious. Uh, Stacy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's real good. I like uh Vacation in it all is mostly uh in the south. What's up, Techno Snipe? What up, man? I've been waiting for you to come in. You know, I've been wondering about you. You know, just probably been busy, huh? Uh I haven't seen you all day today, man. How's your uh, day so far? Is it morning there in the UK? Oh, that's good, man. That's good to hear. And Stacy was live too. Uh, And I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Techno Snipe. I think you told me one time uh, you uh, live in London, you know, right in the UK and something. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. May third, nineteen ninety nine was the biggest and strongest. Yeah, that's right, buddy. But at the time, I was I was living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, I was going uh, at the time. I think I was going to Tulsa Memorial for. I think I went there for one semester, two semester, something like that. But uh, yeah, more gets a lot of tornadoes, y'all. So, so if y'all ever go to Oklahoma and y'all ever go to more, y'all ever stay in more, you know, visit, vacation in more, then y'all know. Oh, you like me because I'm very chill, yeah. Yeah, I'm a very chilled and calm person, you know. I try to be, you know, techno snipe. I'm so glad that you became a, a friend. You guys weren't interested. Uh, yeah, Jesse does have a really good memory. I'm so glad that you became a friend, Techno Snipe. I'm glad that you was able to find my channel. Uh, I'd be looking forward to seeing some live streams from you, uh, Techno Snipe. 
I haven't seen any live streams. I haven't been on your live or nothing like that. I think the notifications are jacked up or something. But uh, yeah, I'll be on. Uh, I think Jesse did a live or two. Oh, oh, you going live? Oh, you was live earlier playing Minecraft. Oh, uh, oh, I need a. I probably need to uh, unsubscribe and then subscribe again. And then re, re uh, click the notification bell uh, because somehow I'm not get, getting none of your notifications. Uh, Techno Snipe. If I get get one for sure, I will be definitely on your uh, live watching you play Minecraft. You know, be be there, you know, chatting with you and stuff. And uh yeah, because I'm always looking forward to looking at other new channels and channel that I haven't tried I haven't I haven't uh watched yet so but today been a blessed Sunday you took four Advils has not helped so I took Three Tylenol. Oh, yeah, you got, yeah, that Tylenol. Yeah, thank God that you took only three because I heard somebody, people been dying off of Tylenol, overdosing on it, but three, I think three is enough, Stacy. From what I heard a couple of years ago, I don't know how true it is, but yeah. Yeah, like people was overdosing on it or taking too much or, you know. Oh, congratulations. Oh, uh, Techno Snipe. Anybody that's in the chat that's not, uh, anybody that's on my live that's not, uh, uh, subscribe to Techno Snipe, subscribe to him. And, um, uh, and he just reached uh, 1,500 uh, subscribers. And be sure to check out his uh, him playing mine, uh, mine craps, crap. And uh, yeah, uh, you welcome, buddy. That's that's pretty good, man. I'll be glad whenever you hit uh, 2K are you know pretty much even more i remember uh it was just a couple of years ago when i had 1500 uh subscribers and five years ago when i had uh only like a hundred subscribers but but it took to get a hundred subscribers when I first came on the scene and started doing video videos. Uh, it took about two years to really hit a hundred subscribers for me. Oh, thank you, uh, Stacy. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, that's even better, man. It took you a month. Yeah. Cause I think uh, when I first,
Yeah. Because uh, when I first came on the scene, I think the reason why it took me a long time to hit, you know, a hundred my first round, uh, it uh, I wouldn't dorm the type of video that that a lot of people watch. Maybe only like ten or twenty people watch each video, and then when I started doing news type of stories and cooking videos and uh, blogs and, you know, holiday videos, then my numbers started increasing. And so far, since I got uh, about three or four days ago, somebody uh, useful information gave me a super chat of $19. But uh, I didn't get $19 because they take out a certain portion of it. They take out a certain amount of it. And then you got to wait until you get a hundred on your uh, super chat. But so far I have gotten three super chats so far. And I really don't expect people to donate to my super chat, but if they want to, then it helps. You know, even a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Uh, it pretty much adds up when when uh, people uh, donate to our super chats and stuff. and So, yeah. But so far, uh, with my uh, Up in the House uh, Wreckage TV channel that's monetized, uh, so far they made like almost 60, 60 bucks. Plus Super Chats too. So I got probably a long way to go to reach that $100 threshold. But uh, yeah. But, but when you, uh, uh, monetize Techno Snipe, I will for sure donate to your super chat every once in a while. If I can. Hmm. Let me see. See what this move is about. Well, it don't really say what the name of the movie, y'all. Well. It don't really say what the name of the movie y'all. All it says lifetime movies. Yeah. Movies 2018 HD great drama. Be right back. Got to change laundry over and check if my bait is in my car. Okay, say see be wait right here for you. 
Jesse, are you still there, Jesse? Hope so, bro. Okay, I will call you after the live stream. I'll probably get out in like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on you know how many people are still on here. Because I normally wait until a lot of people come on here and then I I decide to stay on here for a while and then after that I I would get off when the numbers start dropping low. So that way, you know, I'm not talking to myself and then but thank y'all for the fifth thumbs up. I appreciate y'all. Every thumbs up helps and and every watch time helped as well, y'all. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I probably... Uh, I'm thinking about uh, maybe I, I said I was going to do it last Thursday. I said I was going to make a uh, Frito chili pie uh, cooking stream, but you know, I ended up eating at Brahm, so I might make a chili pie cooking stream uh, Thursday. If I don't make it Thursday, I would definitely make it probably Saturday, next Saturday. So I don't know, depending on what's going on and how I'm feeling and stuff. But pretty soon I'll be starting work at the Goodwill store. And and so after I start work uh, and everything like that, I'm going to be Monday through Friday, be streaming in the evening time around 5 or 5 30 or 6 uh and then on i think on uh it was pretty good actually buddy i loved it fried bologna uh but i think saturday and sunday i'll be streaming like you know pretty much in the morning and sometime in the afternoon and then sometime in the evening depending on how how the day goes and what's going on that day and stuff. So that's right after you know I start working back again. So yeah, I appreciate all y'all coming in here and. Oh, I was talking about I was going to make a Frito, uh, Frito Chili Pie live stream uh, cooking chili, Frito Chili Pie live stream on Friday, you know, Thursday, Friday, or, um, or Saturday. I don't know because sometimes things happen at the last minute or something depending on what's going on at those days. But I try to change my live streams up, you know, cook something different. Uh, Y'all seen my pork chops, you know, live stream, chicken live stream, uh, hamburgers, when I was cooking hamburgers and, and uh, y'all seen when I cooked, uh, my memorial um, uh, dinner, because I, my memorial dinner, I cook like uh, chicken with hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. And that was like on a, a Memorial Day and stuff. And, and I really, I know I've been saying that I was going to do some Halloween blogs and Halloween live streams, 
But I'm going, since I did one at Spirit Hot Store, I'm going to try to do one at Walmart, and then I'm going to try to do one at Target, too, while I'm, like, looking at Halloween stuff, trying on, you know, masses and, and you know, walking around, live streaming and stuff like that, and talking to y'all guys and stuff. I probably need to shave. And then I'm going to give me a haircut. I'm going to see if I can give me a haircut. Uh, not this week, but next week. And this time I'm going to get it cut really short. Because some of y'all probably saw me. Uh, my hair really, really short. Not bald, but, you know, kind of, you know, trim kind of trim, uh, sort of bald, but not really. Uh, a lot of y'all seen, you know, my live stream when I had, when I, when I had a bald head, sort of, and some of y'all probably didn't. Y'all knew, uh, probably have never seen that, but, uh, yeah. And it looks like, uh, a new movie coming on. Get a a mullet, mullet. Okay, I would get one, and I was I was thinking about if if maybe I was gonna get a fade or something like that, because I haven't had a fade in a in a very long time, you know? I haven't had a fade in a while, so. Business in front, party in the back. Yes, yes, yes. Wait for uh oh it is uh oh you should show me you should send me a picture oh you can't find your babe you left that Janice oh I like to lick my uh Cigars, cause it when it's wet, it it lasts longer. Your heart is racing from going up and down the stairs. I bet with heavy laundry, sure. I bet, Stacy. Okay, um, my Twitter, you, I got two Twitters. You can either, you can either follow both of them or one of them. And my one Twitter is at Young Byron. And then my other Twitter is CEO of anti-label 
So NT is I N T I E. And just uh, look up that and you can follow me on that. And then I will follow you back as well, too. Because I normally, when somebody follows me that I uh, know, I normally follow them back. Oh, you also left the movie. That you rent it. Okay, definitely. Oh. I will go. No. Sit up. I'm going uh go and type it in the chat, okay. Oh, the first one, the young buyer one. I will type my second one in the chat, so. Uh, that's my second one, classic computers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah hopefully you feel, feel better in the morning. Uh, do y'all, uh, do you work on holidays? Uh, okay, uh, classic computers. So do you work on holidays, uh, Stacy? Uh, or not? Okay, Jesse, thanks for coming in. I'll call you right after the stream, buddy. Okay. Cause I know some some people that do that kind of work. Okay, man. I know some people that do that kind of work that you do, Stacy. Some people don't work on the uh, holidays and stuff because I know tomorrow is Thanksgiving for you, right, Stacy? And I don't know if you work tomorrow or not. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But uh, all right, Jesse, I'll call you in a minute. I'll be all turned like in a few, buddy. Oh, oh, that's good, uh, Stacy. That's real good, you know, because I know my my mentor doesn't work on holiday, but she normally brings me something. Oh no, in Canada, 
Uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, Thanksgiving in Canada, uh, Jesse. But today, tomorrow in uh, where we at is uh, Columbus Day. Christopher Columbus Day. So, uh, yeah, sometimes when when uh, during a holiday, my uh, mentor will give me uh, all you do. Don't feel guilty. I understand why you didn't go, and you were sad today, Stacy. You know, don't don't. Feel Oh, you feel paralyzed so hard for hours, crying so hard for hours, I feel paralyzed. Oh, I don't know that feeling, but I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah, normally uh, during the holidays, she would bring me like food and stuff. And uh, and on Christmas, she bring me a couple of presents and stuff like that. She's been working with me for like almost six years. Okay, thank you, man. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go on Twitter and uh, see if I can find. Uh, the notification whenever you uh, follow me. Okay, peace, Jesse. Peace out, man. I have been I haven't gotten the notifications yet, uh classic computer. Maybe it'll come up in a few minutes. I uh, followed you, Classic Computers, and it looks like your uh, your profile is on a uh, private. So it says it's pending, so I guess you got to accept it. And let me see, let me see the other one. Let me saw if I can find the other one.
Okay, I went to your other one. Is that I follow you and turn on the notification bell. Trying to get your tweets. Oh, it's uh, your tweets are protected. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Uh, classic computers. That's what you had. So I follow you on both of your uh, uh, Twitter pages, uh, Classic Computer. Well, so far today has been a good day, everybody. Uh, uploaded that much on my young Byron uh, Twitter page. Probably need to go on there and see, see what's popping. I probably got 100 notifications and uh, a lot of messages. So. Somebody sent me a link. Somebody, two people sent me a link.
I'm gonna put my uh, Instagram just in case other people haven't followed me yet on Instagram, just in case if they want to. Sugar Bay just went live, everybody. And also, I'm going to put my record page. If y'all want to check out some of you know, my artists or some of my music and some. So. Uh, they go my record label website, y'all. And plus, I have to update it too. But whenever I go to the library or I get uh, another uh, tablet, I can update it. Uh, but I can't up somehow. I can't update it on my phone because. It won't let me. I'm going to check my notifications, everybody, and see, see what's possible. Sugar Bay made me a uh, mod. That's cool. That's I didn't even know that. But uh, I'm about to get off here in this live. Uh, the chat is pretty slow, so uh, ain't nobody uh, chit chatting right now. So I'm going to be out, and I'm gonna watch Sugar Bay's. Uh, so go to Sugar Bay. Uh, S G A and then Bay B A Y. Go to her uh, if y'all want to go to her uh, a live stream. She's a pretty cool person. Her I think her boyfriend or her husband name is Callie Bay, and sometimes he'd be on her live streams too. But uh, yeah, she's a really cool, awesome person. I see y'all later. Thanks for being in here and watching me make my fried bologna. I'm out. Have a blessed night. I see y'all tomorrow or Tuesday or whatever day.
and peace out, dogs. Yeah.